What's going on guys and welcome to Bogear RC videos. So today's an exciting day. Uh, today Trill released brass portal housings for the FMS 24 and uh, you know of course I went ahead and ordered some of those and I am to understand that more upgrades from Trill are on the way for the FMS or the FCX 24 and uh, that just uh, really makes me happy I kind of suspected that was going to be the case with this platform because this is a very popular platform right now and this is a very fun platform to play with so I am happy to see that the aftermarket is in fact uh, starting to produce parts for this guy now with that being said i have started to uh, upgrade mine just a little bit not too much not too much um i took it out for the drive last video kind of seen what it needed the first thing i thought it needed i like these tires but i thought it needed some better tires on it a little bit more weight down low and i thought it needed to have a little bit longer wheelbase um now speaking of the wheelbase kevin gibbs pointed out to me that he thought that uh these with the shorter wheelbase were kind of modeled after the uh, european mud trucks and that's something that i do watch on youtube from time to time is the uh european mud trucks they're uh, pretty cool mostly diesel powered um cab back half trucks pretty similar to this with tractor tires so i believe probably kevin was right about that but uh anyway um just you know from my experience uh the first run i did with this thing i kind of uh did my upgrades based on what i thought about it from there i did think it needed better tires so we put the uh rc four-wheel drive mud slingers on here i had these uh sitting in my bag for quite a while wondering which truck i was going to put them on and they, they just seemed to uh, be the correct choice for this truck since i already had them in stock anyway um moving on to the wheelbase i uh i just went ahead and uh took the easy way out on that for now and i ordered a set of these McHugh trailing arms and uh, we got those installed not too bad not too bad um seems like we have let me uh put this stuff over here uh when this thing was stock we could flex up on three tires like that um with the McHugh trailing links uh we're still able to uh flex up on three tires you still running the stock shocks so they they seem to uh you know they lengthen it out but uh, we didn't seem to lose too much in the way of flex so i'm kind of digging that we might leave those on there for a while or i might play around with some other stuff as it comes available i am assuming that trio was probably going to uh maybe do some of this type of thing um i don't know but uh they've already come out with the uh, brass uh portal covers so i'm sure other upgrades are soon to follow now for the uh the rear drive shaft since we've lengthened the uh the wheelbase out we did use a deadbolt uh drive shaft this is a hot racing metal drive shaft for a deadbolt and you can see uh, the front is still the plastic uh, stock drive shaft but pretty much the same diameters uh, they they pretty much look just alike hard to tell them apart really um just by looking but uh anyhow so we got that done um looking at the wheels i used a uh i had these also these came from uh, these are rc four-wheel drive stamped steel bead locks i did put them on in the uh, deep dish configuration and uh, noticing the color, you can't uh, buy this color from RC Four Wheel Drive. These were actually powder coated by Hooker's Garage. 
Uh, Scott Olson over there at Hooker's Garage does a jam up job on his uh, on his powder coating. And uh, given the uh, the deep dish configuration, and we do have a slightly wider wheelbase now, which uh, you know I don't really mind that. That's probably going to work out pretty good. Um, kind of digging the way it looks. The the copperish color wheels kind of uh, look pretty good on here to me. But uh, one of the things I notice is they do kind of uh, bring the yellow out a little bit more than the red wheels did. So we might have to tone down the, uh, the yellows on this a little bit. And uh, probably now since the, uh, the rear axle is actually behind the frame, uh, we might go ahead and uh, get rid of the roll cage and do a little something back here as I continue to make this truck my own. But uh, moving on from that, I do have at my house waiting for me whenever I get done uh, with this little trip out of town. I do have the uh, metal portal gears. We'll install those in there. And we'll be keeping an eye out for what other kind of upgrades we can do. But uh, until those upgrades are available i think i'm going to work on cosmetics next and uh, maybe take this thing for a little spin in uh, this configuration just to see how these uh these new uh McHugh trailing arms and the new tires works if it's uh, benefited us i'm sure we're going to get a uh a higher climbing angle than we had stock and uh, I feel like the tires are going to help out quite a bit out there crawling around. So uh, anyway, guys, that's just a little update on what I've been doing with this truck. Uh, we're going to continue on. I still haven't uh, put oil in the shocks. Yeah, it's something I probably will try just to see if I like it or not. And uh, if I don't, we'll go ahead and maybe uh, look for different shock options as we move forward as well. But until next time, guys, oh, Uncle Lee, Bogey RC Video said, I'll see ya.